Hello everyone, welcome back to another TFT video. Let's see what we will be playing today here. So we have completed Ida Melville, Unit Accelerator, as well as Golden Symphony. I feel like we're just picking the completed Ida Melville here. Oh, we got a champion duplicator. Boom, baby. That's kind of rare, actually. On stage one. Easy on the eyes. Don't die Tenta kill, five Olafs. I don't think it's actually all off here. Magic resist, crit. Boom, baby. Armor, magic resist, and crit. Not really any slammable items here. Trade sector. Um, cybernetic bulk, long distance pals. Metal heads. Spoils of war. I'm down for the metal heads. Okay. I feel like we're actually leaning towards playing Pentakill this game. If we can get a spatula, we can actually make Pentakill emblem as well. That would be very nice. We shall see though. Um, I believe we're kind of strong here. So, I'm not sure if we can actually find a spatula.
Yeah, not a lot to talk about here so far. Um, we are sitting on 100 HP. I don't think we can actually get a spatula here. I do feel like it's going to be very contested. Um, I would have a component in case we get it. Quicksilver, is that something that I want to be making? Probably not. We do have a red buff, so that's pretty good for Pentakill as well, for Akali. Oh, we actually lost here. That's interesting. So we are third pick. Let's see if there is a spatula. There is not, okay. Here is gone. Um, let's see, it's pretty. Let's see. I actually don't know. Is it just magic resist? Probably. Don't really have anything that I can make with it though. Yeah, not anything that we can actually make here, unfortunately. Uh, let's go over the units that we are going to be trying to find here in the meantime. So it's going to be the classic girl superfan, Kenan, Lilia, as well as Nico. We're also going to be playing Akali with the KDA version for the KDA, uh, 3 KDA here. We're also going to be playing Mordekaiser, as well as Karthus, and Yorick. Um, is there any other unit that we're missing here? Um, oh yeah, Ignore, actually. And then you're just playing one headliner as uh, Pentakill. Uh... Yeah, it seems about right. Actually, we're taking out Kenan, and we're putting in... Uh, I'm assuming it's going to be Viego, right? Yeah, Viego, and then we are picking a Pentagill Headliner. We can also fit in Kale if we go level 9, or 7 Pentagill if we do have a option to get there. With the Penta Kill Emblem, however, I guess this is the board that you're going for. Looking somewhat strong here, I would say, still. I mean, I'm not losing too much HP, but I'm probably losing here, right? Yeah, almost one. Not quite though. Let's see, what's the your Pentakill's champions are immune to crowd control for the first 12 seconds of combat. They heal for 4% max health on takedown. Okay, so definitely don't want to get a QSS then, at that point. Sword. Got Hodge here as well, that's nice. Pick up the cannon for potential cannon too. A little bit early for the kale here, I feel like. I 
I guess it's not too bad. Cause they'll make 40 potentially. By selling the get in here. Harmasis, partial ascension, vampirism, Pandora's items. I'm actually down for it. My damage healer is not really that great. I feel like. Definitely want to hold the armor if I can. Do I level here? Probably not, right? Since I'm sitting on four law streak, losing one more might guarantee me a potential spatula here. Um, on the 3 4. If I kill two units here, I believe it's fine. Oh. Didn't kill him. Unfortunately. We are first pick by the looks of things here. As long as I lose a little bit more than this guy, we should be guaranteed to be first pick at the very least. sword. I feel like I'm just sitting here for one turn. I can actually do this so we get a level 6 shop next turn. Yeah, we're definitely losing against this guy, I feel like. He's playing Jax with Ravenon's death cap though. It's gonna sus. Is he actually gonna be playing it? Or is he just playing it for the... Momentarily... Um, presence here. Jax is very strong early, but is he actually gonna continue with Ravenon's? Not sure. And there is a spatula, but it's moving away from me. Oh, we got it. Let's go. Okay, we can actually make Pentakill Emblem here. I guess we don't have to go level 9 then. We can stay level 8. Just play this board. Seems pretty solid here. All of a sudden, we have four pentakills. I'm missing Mordekaiser. Put it on this guy for now. I feel like we're just gonna be lose drinking one more turn. And we can go level 7 on the wolves. Try to find a new headliner at that point. Looking pretty solid here. Check the damage. Also, with the champion duplicator, I should be able to find a level 3 a little bit easier than normally. 
But yeah, we're taking a lot of damage here. We're down to 49 already on 3-5. Yeah, it's not good. Crit and magic resist. Probably shouldn't spread my units out in the back line. Just try to kill as much units as possible here. I feel like I should be able to kill at least two, right? With any? Surely. Got two. Maybe even three here. Maybe even four. Oh. Actually, not a bad loss here. Eight losses in a row. That's a lot of gold. 42 HP. Is that even a loss, bro? Yone. Urgot. Nico. Kane. Oh. oh. Hold up there. This guy up. Oh, I actually have to hold these items. Potentially set placement Karagas, Mordekaiser, Gnar with Pentakill. Eh, I don't know. Let's see Jax, Gnar. There we go. Let's see, last item for her is going to be on here. So like this one. Five Mordekaisers. Pretty solid here. We're missing a Kali, however. Do I need Knar 3? I'm not sure actually. Little buddies. Oh, actually? Nah, it's probably not little buddies here. Remember your roots? Now that's something else though. I'll take that one. Okay, something like this. Isn't this a lot better at this point? A Viego over the Karthus? I feel like it is. Just playing a um Olaf, I'm assuming. Before we find a Yorick. Not too bad. Eight stacks already? Oh my lord. Oh, that's crazy. So, those who don't know, Mordekaiser, if you headliner him, uh, let me explain after this circle here. I'm, a, I'm actually down. Um, 
So what Mordekaiser does is when the face melter, his ultimate, kills an enemy, he gains 4% ability power, 4% attack damage, and 4 armor as well as magic resist. If you headliner him, he gains an additional 100 health as well as 5 ability power. When this ability kills, he permanently gains 1% permanent ability power, which also stacks on every round, right? So right now we have killed 8 units so far. So 8% ability power, that's kind of crazy. Let's see, I probably want to keep this one for Karthus. All we're missing right now is four Mordekaiser as well as one Akali for this comp to essentially blow up at this point. There's a Yorick. Okay, the Yorick is gone. I'll just take the you know, we then prevent most of the people from getting a early Ilawi for their comp. This is pretty important. Archangel is not too bad either, actually. Hmm. I feel like I need to go level 8 though. Okay, well, at this point, I feel like we're just putting him in instead of the Viego. Am I leveling actually 40? I'm gonna be broke if I do, but. I feel like I'm just fine waiting a little bit more. Finding Mordekaiser 3 would be a lot better than just getting a Akali and becoming level 8. But yeah, definitely keeping up the Gnar 3 option here, I feel like. Kill 3, probably not too interesting.
Yeah, we didn't find the uh, Kali, unfortunately. Wow, we got 18 stacks already? That's with a Mordekaiser 2, by the way. If we can hit him... Oh, this guy's playing Mordekaiser as well, actually. Okay. Diego. Maybe I should wait until he is dead then. I don't know. I feel like I need to find one Akali for me to spike. And I can do this, but at the same time, four super fan is probably better, right? I feel like sitting on 20 stacks so far on 5 2. We're not sending it yet. Check the damage. Surely I'm killing something here, right? Oh, that's a lot of unnecessary damage. Let's see if I can find a Yorick here. True damage? I mean, I'm down for true damage if I can get it. True damage, Karthus. I mean, maybe I can just play the Kenandan. Seems okay. Alright, just make true damage a Kali. That sounds like a grief, honestly. Nor. Karthus can ensure. Why not? No Akali, however. Oh, that's kind of sad. Yeah, he's just gonna be replacing the Genin, I'm assuming. We can't actually go level 9, I feel like. Honestly, we win streak from this point. And we can put in... I call it at level 9. That would be something. Let's see, the stack's 26 right now. It's not too bad. I'm not sure if I can get to level 9, however.
1,300 true damage. Not too bad, I guess. Can it with 2,800? Not too bad. Where is the Akali two star that we are looking for? Check the damage. So if we find a Yorick, we're just taking out the Kale at that point, and we get the Mosher bonus, or the Mosher trade activated with Gnar. Warmogs. Morello, hmm, Thieves Glove, how about a Thieves Glove here actually, do I need heal reduction, I feel like it's actually this, not the best items that I drew from it, but it's fine. Thirty-two stacks. I might beat my record here if I continue going forward here. Thirty-five. I think my record is forty-six stacks in one game. So I have to kill at least eleven more units. There's three people left in the lobby. I'm not sure if that's possible. Can also go level 9, look for Kiana, and replace this guy with Akali and Kiana. That could be something. Sentinel, not really. Edgelord, not really. Right? If I'm taking out the KL for Yorick. And I'm not getting the edge lord. So this guy beat me before. He's not beating me this time, it looks like. 36, 37. I think the game might be over before we get to level 9. 64. It's gonna be the last round pretty much if we ever do find a Akali for free basically. It's gonna left the lobby. This guy's holding five Akalis. So it's very difficult for me to find one. Check the damage. Wow. Well, it was a clone, but <laughs> wow. 42? I might actually beat my record then. Could actually happen here. I need to kill at least four more units.
Another true damage. Oh, pentakill. Well, I can't get 10 pentakill, unfortunately. But I mean... I'm down. Just make... Nico a pentakill as well. Could be something. I think I'm just leveling here. Diego, Kiana. Oh, nice, we got him. Um, let's see. This here. This here. This here. This here. Oh, I'm missing Lilia actually. What happened with Lilia? Oh, I need to find a Lilia. Wait. Am I beating him? I'm not. Okay. I have to find a Lilia? Wait. This is super fun. Oh, she's true damage. Oh, I see. There we go. I was like, didn't I have Lilia? Makes sense now. I call you two. How many stacks? 47? It's a new record. Holy. 47% additional <laughs> ability power. That's kind of crazy. That is kind of crazy. Let's see if we can win with it. Eight pentakill. Yeah, there is no shot he's beating it. Well, we ended up winning by not having this one. That's kind of funny. Okay, it's a first. That felt like the freest game in a long time, actually. Holy. Mordekaiser 3. Kinar 3, level 9, Kiana, 2, wait, 1, 3 spatula emblems, 2 pentakill emblems, and 1 true damage emblem. Um, I feel like I have all the craziest game here. Also ended up uh, getting a new record here. I'm not sure what it was. I'm going to check that in the video. Uh, I believe it was like 49, 50, something like that. I'm going to end up checking it. Uh, I'm going to publish it in the title, of course, as I did with the previous one. But yeah, very interesting game here. I feel like the lobby wasn't really that strong here either. Kind of surprised. Ended up going up against a punk player. With emo spatula. There was so many spatulas here. Big shot emblem as well. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. Let's go over the portal and augments. The portal was completed item anvil. We ended up getting a red buff from it, if I'm not mistaken. First augment was metal heads, as the second one being the silver Pandora items, in my opinion, the best one. Third one, remember your roots, very solid for the pentakill headliner here on Mordekaiser. So with the two pentakill emblems, everybody gets the 10% attack speed as well as, I think it's 100 HP, or is it 200? I think it's 100. Very solid game. Um, wasn't able to get to level 10, otherwise I could have actually gotten 10 pentakill. But, yeah, didn't really have the time for it. Solid game, though. Yeah, I think it's time to round up the video here. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to leave a like on the YouTube video before you go, as well as subscribing to my YouTube channel to not miss out on any of the future videos. 
as I do publish videos daily here on this YouTube channel. Lastly, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below if you have any future comps that you want me to try out in my future games, or if you have any thoughts on this comp in particular, you can publish that as well. All feedback and support is very appreciated, so thank you in advance for that. That's gonna be it for this video, however, and hopefully I will be seeing you in the next one. Thank you for watching and stay awesome.